Okay, this may be the most important whiteboard I've ever done, so hold on and pay attention. Uh, we are watching two sides of an epic struggle in America right now, but they are viewing and have viewed that struggle in very different ways for a long time, and that's why one side is winning. So you have one side that views politics as a battle over elections, assuming that democracy itself is intact and stable. The other side is battling democracy itself, and that's how they view the battle. So one side is battling elections, the other side, democracy itself. Because they view the battle differently, they're fighting different battles. The election side, Democrats generally, are focusing largely on swing states in certain years. Swing states, swing states, swing states. That's where they focus their energy. That's where they focus their battle. They generally are focusing on federal elections, the presidency, Congress, the Senate. The side fighting democracy is going far deeper. They know that the heart of democracy is shaped by state houses. So they're fighting first and foremost at the state level, and they are fighting their battle across the whole country every single year whenever they can. What happens when one side is fighting everywhere and has cornered the market at the roots of democracy and the other side is fighting in swing states, largely federal level? This side always wins, always, long term. And when they have, think about it as a battle, when they have the high ground that they can aim from without accountability, they're always making progress. Until this side figures this out, it starts to also battle for democracy, know that that's the stakes, at all, at all stakes, at all levels, this side will continue to win. We have to fundamentally change how we view politics if we want to save this democracy.